what's going on boys welcome back to a brand new video i'm sorry i haven't uploaded for a while i had a pop like driving video to upload and i looked at all the footage and you, all you could see was the sky so i'm not gonna upload that obviously it's just been a waste of an upload so it's been a while i've been waiting on parts a, a big big sick part has turned up for this car and i weren't even in today to get it so hopefully i can get it tomorrow but tomorrow at modified nationals so hopefully it will come here and then i can film it monday install next that'll be awesome but we've got the rs and we've got the first aesthetics mod, I guess you could say. Killer wipers, bang. Um, this isn't like a paid thing or anything. Like I, I bought this out of my own money. It's like 10 quid. And like my mate Safe Five's got it. Because the RS, thank God. Right, I mean, the wiper is disgusting. It's massive plastic. Looks shit. But, take it off and put this in. It is glass. I think it's glass or it's just like a black tint glassy thing i'm not too sure i've done it on a 45 before but never on a on my own focus and stuff so we're obviously on fiestas you have the smooth panel and when you take the wiper off it just has a hole in the panel and it looks shit so i had mine smoothed out but luckily with the rs you don't need that because killer wipers just do a kit and you stick it in they do it for most cars like if if it's got a glass one like mainly like vw's and that then you can get it so i'll leave a link to them down below as well so killer wipers you're welcome for the free plug because you make good stuff. Well, hopefully, if, if this isn't good, then I'm not going to tell you. But they came in this thing, which I'm guessing is like the glue. And then this with a little thing talking about how you do it. But I don't think it'll be too hard to get these wipers off on the Fiesta. It was easy. It's mainly just, I pulled that cap. Yeah, they've already done that. And it's probably like a 13 mil or a 10. Pop the boot open and it'll be plastic. Anyway, let's get into this. I'm using the tripod as well today. So if you feel like the video is a bit better, like quality wise with the tripod and that, let me know and I use it more. So I've had it for like two years and I've never even use it. So um let me know what you think and let's crack on with this. So literally as I said and pretty much predicted, pull this up. Voila. Get your 13 mil because they're literally every Ford is built with 13 mils and 8 mils. And then loosen her off with my broken ratchet. Shout out to Matt for letting me borrow it. Sort of didn't tell him I was taking it home, but I've took it home. Also, we got the fade shade. I went for a skin fade, boys. What do we think? Right, so that's off. And then I should be able to wiggle this up. Ooh. Bang. See, I'm not the biggest gym lad, but I've got it off. And then you've just got like the sticky out bit like and the motor still in there so you get that off and obviously you've got like these rubber grommets and stuff but i'm pretty sure the next step is that you just do this hallelujah my boot it's just got stock rs car parts in just so you know all right let's put this somewhere and we'll put this on the floor now we'll get to taking this panel i've never taken one of these off but i can't see it much being different much different to a fiesta it's just undo screws and pull it until you snap sync or see if it don't snap that's pretty much it my method is i can't see no screws which on a fiesta they have screws but obviously i'm in the people with territory now so i'm just gonna like, pull stuff and see what happens i'll move the camera up so you can actually see what's going on because a uh, man's got a tripod look wee hello hello nope you need to go higher Hiya. That's gonna do for now. So yeah, literally, I'm just gonna. That's undone sighing. Who's ringing me? Oh shit! Who's that mini guy? Wagwan. Hello. That mini guy. Thirty. Thirty. Right. Aha. Uh -huh. I was wrong. This, it, these things come off. The handles. Like, luckily, I, I stopped yanking it loads because I thought it was going to snap. But there's two and two. So there's four. Four hidden Phillips screws up in these handle bits holding this on which makes a lot of sense why it wasn't coming off when I was yanking it as hard as possible so don't forget that ignore step one mm. let's unscrew this bar just 
just a bit of persuasion. A gentle bit of persuasion always does the trick. Okay, now we're fully in, and look, because it's not cheap for we've got all nitrous blue in here as well. On my Fiesta, I'm pretty sure I only paid half of it. Fiesta life. All right, now I've got to get the motor off, disconnect the motor. And I'm hoping, because this car's got a weird electric shell, I hope we don't have like a light on saying like, mate, your, your wiper is not plugged in. Hmm, we'll find out now. Okay, so I'm hoping you can kind of see what's going on. I couldn't really get the lighting in that right, but um, I'm just going to undo these three, looks like seven mils, and then hopefully the motor should be able to drop. I can unplug it and then sort out the top half because there's still things on the top. Hey guys, I tried to get the angle. Drop the tripod and hold it. All right. Now, as you can see, that there, that is what we're trying to pull through, and we pulled it. Just got a rubber bung in here, which is out as well. Lovely jubbly. And as I unplugged it, came from one nice little piece. Who thought B Sims and one could actually do stuff himself? This guy. As this guy. I've got a lot of stock parts in the back of my car, if you can see that, I don't even know. But yeah. It's just sort of built up. Got the induction kit. And probably now this. But I've got mod nats to go to tomorrow, so I need to have this as like proper family carrier. I've got to put a tent in it and everything. It's gonna be mad. Okay, so now that we've fully disassembled everything and everything's just unplugged and there's legit a hole in in the actual window and a lot of dirt. So we're going to clean the dirt up first, I'm guessing. And then we're going to... Actually, no. We're going to open the d pack first in case it says you're not going to... Like, I don't know. I should probably just read it because I've not read it out. So I'm going to do that now. So it comes in little kits. It's got that and then the uh, injector thing, which I'm pretty sure is something to the glue. So just open it. It says made in England. I like that it says giving rear wipers the death sentence. That's pretty cool. Anyway, don't need that. Nice little bag. Um, Alright, so I've got this. It's a killer wiper sign and a sticky pad thing. And this tip thing which I'm guessing goes on the injector thing so I'll make sure I don't lose that put that there and then I don't know if this is an invoice or a letter but firstly thank you for purchasing I'll delete it I'm ready for the boring stuff and then I'll tell you what it actually means so basically what it says is clean both sides of the window you gotta push it through seal it on the back tape it on the back seal it around the front once you're happy, peel the protective layer off, let it dry, and then you're done. So just leave it an hour before you take the tape off the back of it, and then the sealant should be sweet. So then you've got 100% waterproof sealant. There's like loads of little things, but it was a little, quite a long list. I don't like reading. I prefer pictures. But I basically get the most of it, and the first thing to do is just clean it. So luckily I've got rapid detailer in the boat. I'm just going to spray it on this cloth and then wipe it on. Well, that smells dank. Alright, so both sides are pretty much clean. I'm going to make sure they're dry. Use the other end of the towel. Yep. I'm gonna grab some tape and then we're gonna try and just stick this on. And that nozzle is for the gun thing. But it should go well. I can't really see how much I'm gonna fuck up but like, I'll fuck up a lot, but I feel confident in this. Also, Infinity Wax, your rapid detailer from because race car blocks on the sponsors smells dank. Dank. 
let's do this. So this is like the back of it. it comes with like the logo on it, which is pretty awesome. And then you just got the black side. So it says to test fit, which I did. Fit really well, so I can't go complain there. Now I'm gonna put this on, and then on the back of. So that's the back. So the inside of the back part has like an, a lip around it, which I need to put the seal around, push it through, tape it, which I've put some tape here, so I can just stack it straight on. Probably not the best tape, it's electrical tape. Fuck it. Then once I put that, put it down, put the seal around the edge, wipe that off, and we should be good. But um, now there's no going back now because ah. <sighs> Smells weird. I mean, you probably shouldn't sniff glue if you're young, but I get like interested in weird things. I don't. So. Right. Uh -huh. Okay, so I spun it on. Man's a doctor. <laughs> that could be a good thumbnail. Gonna have to take a short break for a thumbnail because this looks mad. Okay, I went a bit over the edge on the actual front of it, so. Just gonna wipe, leave that bit off. Actually, no, screw it. It's got a protective film on it still. Okay, got a bit on my hands, but that's all good. That's why we're wearing dirty clothes. Now we're gonna stick it through, and yeah, should be re. We hope. Right, just need to get it off my hands. Yeah, so the fitment on here is banging. I hope you can see it. It's just... So yeah, like I was saying, the fitment here seems sweet. It says to just run a bit around the edge as well. So I'm just going to do that quick and then it says to wipe off any excess. But because it comes out so nice and thin, it should be alright. Just going to make sure I've got no like big blobs at the end of it. Okay, so I put like a ring around it, and then I'm guessing you sort of just wipe the excess off. This is probably wrong, but it doesn't look right. So, thankfully, the excess rubs off pretty nicely. Just making sure I don't get any on the paintwork. I'm pretty sure it's done, but I've got loads left. So, I mean, if anyone wants any. Like window sealer, if this hasn't gone off, hit me up and I'll seal some shit for you. Are we ready? Oh, no, that is banging. That is so much better than the massive, like, plastic, shitty wiper housing that comes on it. It just gives it much more of a cleaner look and looks 10 times better um, my ceiling skills didn't come up too bad either so I'll show you a close up now and then I've got something I really show you if you follow me on Instagram and Snapchat and stuff B7CMY Snapchat's Tommy Blakey with a Y it's always in the end of my videos anyway you would know what this is but um, if you don't follow me on that sort of social media stuff then you don't know when I need to tell now before they sell out so I'm going to show you this and then I'm going to show you it looks so much nicer man just 10 times better, brings the whole rear of it. Just a cleaner overall stand. And now you're probably thinking, what's all this blue stuff? When I put this casing back on there, that's gonna cover all that, so you're not gonna see any of that anyway. But I'm just waiting, because I need to take this tape off. So that's all gonna be hidden, and just tuck away that wire. Or they say, the plastic bag it comes in, wrap it around the wire, just in case there's any sort of water damage that happens. It is a good idea just to protect it anyway. But, um, and then show you what we've got on the new market. But like I said, if you want to get one of these DIY packets, go grab one, I'll link down below. If your car's got a glass, like if, if where the wiper comes out, it comes out the glass and not the actual panel, they more than likely do a kit for you, so make sure you check it out. Oh, oh, what's that I see there? Is that a B70 and my limited edition air freshener? Strawberry flavoured? From the guys over at Fresh Crepes? I think it is. Is the camera going to focus on it? There we go, mate. I, I have been waiting these for so long. I'm so excited these finally launched. And I don't have the car no more, but I only got a hundred of these made. And obviously the limited edition, I'm not gonna make any more because I don't even own the car. But if you want one, they're £3.50, which I think is more than 
Alright, I'm going to use a spoiler because you know our is are great for, for camera stands. Let's just flip this. They're £3.50, which I think is more than a good price to be honest. So if you're interested in getting an ST, like a, a sick air fresh, there's a hundred of these made. I've got one and I thought I don't want to take too many like because I've only got a hundred. Uh, if I get rid of less, then less people are going to have them. But if you're interested in getting one, be top link in the description for the air fresheners and then check out all the other stuff on the site. And I've got some awesome new stickers coming, like sick. But there's going to be certain ones that are like Patreon only because I've been getting a lot of support recently on Patreon and I can't thank the guys over there enough because everyone's just like, it's just so comforting nine people like will help support me. And if you don't want to do Patreon but you still support me, obviously I still really appreciate it. But it's just the Patreon's just another thing that helps me do stuff with this car. So if you're a Patreon, like, you're sick. If you want to become Patreon, link down below. You get a free sticker on sign up as well. And the new stickers are that are the Patreon only ones. Mad, but I've also still got other six stickers for other like everyone else, so don't think you're just not including that. But if you want one of these air fresh, like I said, top in the description, I'm gonna wrap up the video here because it's probably gonna be quite long just for a D wiper. So smash like on this video if you enjoyed, comment what you think the next mod should be on the RS, and smash the subscribe button down below. Thank you so much for watching and supporting me. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. And if I see you on one, that's Saturn. Make sure you come over and say like.